me an overview of Firestone Diamonds and your Likabong assets in Lesotho, please. Sure, Chantal. Um, a little bit of background. Uh, we, uh, going back to 2014 is when we raised the money and uh, managed to raise triple two million US dollars. And, um, and the next two and a half years after that was, was spent building the project. And uh, we produced first carrots at the end of 2016. I was then the general manager on the mine and we ramped up production and uh, we declared commercial production in mid-2017. So we're producing acid. We've been in production uh, for a year and a half now. And uh, on the production front, everything is, uh, is going going very well. So we're hitting nameplate production and a uh, good team on site up in the Highlands in the city. Okay, so now tell me a bit more about what work you've got planned for 2019 in particular at SITES. 2019 is all about um, embedding that um, production culture that we have in place at the moment and you know, making sure we hit our targets. Um, we, uh, you know, uh, the important thing is for the production team to make sure we make our tons so we get the grade out of the ground. The thing that's unfortunately not in our control is the, the value we get for our diamonds. Uh, it's a tough market at the moment. Um, no doubt you've spoken to other uh, diamond mining companies as well. So everyone is going through a bit of a tough patch at the moment, but it's um, making sure we, we control the things that we can control. You know? So it's all about the production and the cost. We're making sure that is uh, we do a good job there. Okay, and can you give us some insights into what it's like running a diamond operation in Lesotho? It's uh, building. It was a was a huge challenge. It's a, it's, it's really a, a sort of a. There are some, there are other three other mines in the vicinity, so that helps. So there is the infrastructure um, around the mine is there, but uh, closer to the mine, uh, we had to build. Like for instance, the access road of seven kilometers, we had to build. Um, and uh, getting equipment there is tricky, especially in the rainy season. But now that we're up and running, you know, the pl everything is there, um, it's very comfortable. You know? Accommodation is, 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 is new, so it's, it's, it's very nice. And, and, it's, and it's really beautiful up there. You know? it, we're almost three kilometers above sea level, uh, get some snow in the winter. Um, they call it the little Switzerland of Africa. So it, 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 it's, 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 it's a very pretty environment where we are. Oh, Paul, we look forward to following the Likabong story. Thank you for chatting to me today. Pleasure, thank you. Thank you.